know where to start. Checking connection, you are now live. Hey guys, Steph and Joanne here. Hi, how's it going guys? And today's video is all about relationships. Relationships. Alignment. And falling leaves. <laughs> Um, that's quite a trio for that her. That is quite a trio. Saturday morning. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta grab my coffee. So coffee. we are all inspired to make videos because we've had some amazing positive feedback from our last couple that we've done. And how do those three things go together? Well, Joanne and Steph, we help you guys create a life that you absolutely love. We all have relationships and um, we've come to the conclusion that our singular point of focus is to stay in alignment. Uh, and we, yeah, we talk about that word a lot, or Steph mentions alignment a lot, she's gone to get her coffee, and we thought we'd kind of take an opportunity to explain to you what we mean by alignment, and how that re relates to relationships, and how it gets us kind of niggled up in relationships, or uh, lightens up in relationships, so yeah, that's absolutely, cool. yeah, yeah, and an example to share is, I was having a conversation yesterday with a friend, and he's new to this law of attraction manifestation feeling good is the work and he straight up looked at me across the table table and said you make me happy and i said no i don't you make <laughs> you happy and this is just maybe new to you of feeling aligned and the only thing that's changed really is he met joanne and i and started living in alignment and doing things that feel good yeah. and feeling yeah. good is the work so but that's really interesting like his comment that oh uh, you, you know, made him feel good. And I think that's in a lot of our relationships, we start feeling good and then we look outside and think the other person created that in us. Mm. And then we want to hold on to them, uh, you know, hold on to that relationship. That's why we suffer so much when relationships end because we believe they'll take our happiness with them when we go and they go, right? Yeah. yeah. And that's really, yeah. that's non-attachment or unattachment. And for sure, I've, I'm learning that lesson in the past year of, you know, leaving a five-year relationship, having that end, and, you know, the dog's gone, the boyfriend that I thought I was going to spend the rest of my life with, and for me, it was during our meditation in May that I knew I'd be happy with or without the dog and the guy, um, and for me, I felt a little cold at first. I thought, really? Is that, like, what's Shouldn't wrong I be with sad? me? Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, <laughs> or when somebody yeah. uh, passes away, I've never felt this like sadness I've always just felt unattached and that everything happens for a reason so now that I'm learning on attachment or non-attachment it's um it's not a bad thing and it really is about um you can still love unconditionally without being attached to things and it doesn't mean you're a total gypsy traveler wanderer you can still have incredible relationships and feel that unconditional love but it is about being happy no matter what and again not getting attached to the future or the past and it's living in alignment so that idea of alignment like it there's no question like we're with people and we feel our lo love for them um but what we're really f what we're essentially talking about in alignment is that that feeling is a result of our perception we're looking at someone we feel gratitude we love the look of them the touch the smell the taste the whatever it is and that gets us feeling good feeling higher well you can actually do that without the other person there when you kind of make a choice to look around and appreciate something in the moment appreciate where you are at at the current time and that can be hard when circumstances aren't going the way that you want them to you know to look around and make that shift to uh look for something to appreciate yeah absolutely and it um we were having a conversation this morning about like walking the path and there's um these things you can eat you can focus on and you probably hear us talk about this all the time focus on the good and the good gets better appreciation and then there's also chaos and, you know, you're focusing your energy consciously on either one. And of course, kind of the easiest way to start down the path is to start gratitude and appreciation. But as we're going even further down the path, we're realizing that both have equal value and there's no good or bad. It's just um, being able to accept each one in each situation and uh, be here now. So that might be totally too crazy. Um, over the top. So if you're just new to all of this, then it is about appreciating and starting to open your eyes up. To well, I think the, the big good. help is um, to bring it a little to grounding is to kind of appreciate where you are, or what you're feeling. 
oftentimes what whatever we're feeling sometimes we want to hide it or not be honest but really when you appreciate yourself first and sort of if you're you're feeling down you're feeling sad or you're feeling conflicted or angry is to appreciate that that's you know that honor yourself for feeling that and appreciate yourself first and then it makes it easier because when we try to hide ourselves or those feelings that can get us really tangled up yeah and something that i do every day with uh, my coaches as well as my own journal practice is i write three things on a piece of paper the first thing is um, what i am proud of or accomplishments the second thing is appreciation or gratitude is a common word and the third thing is desires and this can take two three minutes you just write a couple out and what that does is it helps me to increase my vibration as well as um, set out my intentions or desires and that's something that you guys can do right away it doesn't take any time or money I just need a piece of paper um, that's something that I do daily that really helps me stay in alignment which is what we're talking about and um, what's your favorite thing about the fall uh, I, I really love the when the leaves start changing color to see leaves that were green like go red or golden I just think that's magic what about mm. you um, wearing these cowl neck hoodies <laughs> is actually one of my favorite things. Um, but yeah, change of season, um, I lo absolutely love and how much, how much everything is kind of going dormant and it really gives, reminds me that we're not in constant growth and we're not in constant bloom like the spring. There's purpose in going inward and basically I love to go inward to grow outward or to yeah. rest to launch but forward. I love rest. It's like yeah. to me the fall is like the planet going mm -hmm. into rest like it's pulling a blanket over mm -hmm. itself you know mm -hmm. and that's wonderful to do that to give yourself permission to to rest and kind of reflect and I love what you were saying about setting yourself up in the morning because that's mm -hmm. such a great time to to do it and um to get in that place of, uh, to me, yeah, well, alignment. Uh, I like defining words because we throw words around and we assume that everyone thinks they mean the same thing. So what mm -hmm. does alignment mean to you? Yeah, and just on the morning routine thing, don't expect to wake up with a ton of energy. You can actually, you're like a power plant, you can create that energy. So yeah. don't get down on yourself if you wake up tired or sad you actually have that opportunity to increase your vibe through morning routine, through writing, through music, through dancing in the kitchen, through whatever Abraham, makes whatever you, you feel want. good. Yeah. 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 Um, so alignment to me just means that I'm fully, I'm, I'm living in the present moment basically and accepting whatever it is that is in front of me wholeheartedly with love. And um, that's what alignment means to me. Yeah. Yeah. I, it's, no question. I think it's like, I think of alignment as me at my best self, mm -hmm. like, you know, me when I'm really showing up um, happy and fully engaged and, and, and that alignment is alignment with the, the energy that's flowing into the universe, which I believe is always compassionate. So mm -hmm. when I'm at my best self, I'm, I'm not reacting when I'm in alignment, I'm just like fully loving people, mm -hmm. my circumstance, no matter what they're doing. That's not always easy. <laughs> no, and it, people can be hard to love sometimes. <laughs> and not only that, but we're future thinkers. And um, that for me is a constant reminder now of, you know, not planning too far into the future um, and really enjoying what's smack in front of me instead of, you know, planning, planning for the future. That's, that's what I'm going through right now, of, especially on the dating scene and meeting different people and, I'm 30 and I have these things that I want and it's really about, you know, enjoying what's in front of me instead of future planning. That's, that's what I'm up to these days. I love the story about the really wise, um, you know, master yogi who was on his deathbed and he had like, um, you know, thousands and thousands of students. So a group of his inner circle were gathered around as he was dying and um, they asked him if he wanted anything. He wanted his favorite cake. Um, so they were all waiting for his last words of wisdom, like his last words before he passed over. And um, they're standing around and he said, good cake. <laughs> <laughs> it's, and th there is a lot in that teaching, hey, in that statement is, you know, it's appreciate what's in front of you, the cake. Mm -hmm. Eat the cake. <laughs> yeah.
<laughs> okay. So what you guys can um, do is comment below with what's your favorite thing in the fall and if you, the last time you felt in total alignment, what was going on because really it is about um, when you feel good, it's about tracing it back. How did, what was I doing to feel good? And then repeating those steps because for me, feeling good is the work no matter what, even, you know, I'm in launch mode trying to sell, you know, all these seats to my program when I know that my true work is to stay in alignment and to live um, presently and to feel good. Feeling good is the work. When you feel good, you're vibing high. Um, and yes, you have to, for my business people out there, you have to have your system set up so that people can purchase, but it really is about living in alignment and I'm laughing because Joanne is, I, I, she thinks, what do you think about that? I think uh, whatever you're inspired to do is really important mm -hmm. because when you're inspired, I, you know, when you, when you are in alignment or there's something in you that you really want to bring out and if it's a business or a work or a piece of art or a creation, whatever it is you feel inspired to create, it's important. So you need to honor that in, in yourself and trust that, you know, the world and the universe needs it too. Mm. So Steph, you know, loves creating programs um, for uh, business owners that want to connect with their ideal clients. She likes helping business owners kind of get a lot of clarity. They may have a desire, but not entirely clear about the next steps of how to unfold it. So she loves doing that. So do what you love. Whatever you, you love is, is really important to do. So I don't have any judgments about what you do. I think it's the way in which you do it. So, you know, step into that that alignment, that um, that positivity, and then act, do whatever you choose, act from there, whatever you're inspired to do. And if you need help getting clarity on that or figuring out how to get, um, the thing I love about your work stuff is you make it really easy for people mm -hmm. to, you know, this whole world of the internet that seems scary and complicated, but also gives you access to like six billion people, clients, mm -hmm. how to do that um, kind of seamlessly. Because for me, at least my generation, I mean, we are different generations. She's my daughter generation and my other daughter. Um, it, uh, it, it, we didn't grow, I didn't grow up with that, so it seems really scary for me. And for Steph, it's just seamless. And um, I'm always amazed on your knowledge of these applications and how to connect them and how to do things that um, seem to me a, a stumbling block. So, um, yeah, so you have a lot of magic there. And I love, you know, it's important that you share your shine, share yeah. what's important to you. And, um, you know, uh, yeah, we get great by making each other great, don't you think? It's true. Yeah. And I'm chuckling here yeah. inside because I, I always joke that my programs and processes that I teach health coaches, which is actually how uh, Joanne and I met, is I helped Joanne take her business online, is it's a balance between woo-woo and practicality. Because my yeah. early 20s, my upbringing, I was very kind of rigid and strict and then couple, you know, four or five years ago, 25 years old, I started meditating and getting into this woo-woo side of things. And I'm <laughs> marrying the two with my programs and I'm laughing because as I am in launch mode and what I teach people is feeling good is the work, go feel good, go dance, go to the ocean. And here I am in launch mode, Joanne's saying, let's go to the ocean. And I go, oh, just one sec. I just have to do a webinar. Oh, just one sec. I have to get a video done. Do a video. I have to post it. So I'm laughing because here I am teaching this this, you know, go make yourself feel good, feeling good is the work, people will come, the woo-woo side of things, um, and then here I am, like, regressing back to my old patterns of work, 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 so um, thank you for reminding well, me that. Well, we all have those patterns, the body and mind really likes them to be efficient, and it's great to recognize that in, in yourself, that, you know, you have a pattern, and and just like the seasons change, we change. And mm -hmm. it's pretty cool to see yourself evolve and grow. And so the pattern shows up again. And, you know, and then eventually you, there t comes a time where you're like, hey, it's gone. Mm -hmm. Oh, I forget. I wasn't, I'm not doing that anymore. So it's, it's pretty cool to recognize patterns. And, and to see the proof. Like I remember one of my last launches. I went to, I always joke around that whenever I go to yoga, I make money or I go to acupuncture and live in alignment, I make money or my taglines of make money while you meditate. And that's <laughs> when you feel it is when you're doing it. Or when I went to my, it was my third Vipassana meditation and it came out with more money in my bank account than I went in. And it's those that build that confidence. And, um, we were talking about this when we were on a trip 
in, I think we were heading to New York, we were talking about um, starting to build that confidence in manifestation or creation, creating a life you love with small things. Like yeah. we were looking for a gas station and I was about to pull my phone out and she, and Joanne goes, no, 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 let's just find one. Let's just trust. And then it builds that confidence. Once you find that is yeah. that trust in, in that you can do this and um, maybe you don't need to control the Everything. roadmap as much as we once thought we did. And you do need, you know, you need some, I think you do, <laughs> maybe not, but I'm still in that, that yeah. state and what I teach and what clients are appreciating is that backbone that support so that it, it actually is just giving um, the person that ease so that they can yeah. fully relax into the process and enjoy the journey because they have that backbone that process the ne yeah. next step and it'd be silly not to use the tools that are available to you and that make life easy right? yeah so you know showing people how to use tools that are going to make um, their their work their business whatever you're up to easier would be silly not to use mm. them right yeah and but then a lot of times like I say they feel scary if you mm. haven't used it before it's yeah you know, yeah yeah. so coming back to alignment the fall relationships um and of course our love for these videos and um <laughs> with your own business it's just like having coffee and, and coffee. talking yeah. we're inviting you in <laughs> Let us know in the comments what um, your favorite things of the fall are. Yeah. Pumpkin pie. Ooh. Oh, I forgot That's about happening. pumpkin pie. I like Ooh. pumpkin pie. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And cool nights. I love sleeping in cool nights and being mm. blanky. Yeah. <laughs> and that's right. It is. It doesn't matter what you're doing. It's the feeling. So mm -hmm. do whatever you got to do to feel good and tap good into the work. Tap into your alignment mm -hmm. and just like the fall of let, let go of what you need to let go of give yourself permission to rest when you need to and just trust the universe has your back because mm -hmm. it does <laughs> yeah 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 and our next trip we're actually going to go up to cape breton on a road trip just to see the leaves yeah. and um enjoy yeah. this beautiful part of the country before we go south because that's what i do in the winter <laughs> <laughs> yeah. your birthday's coming up and you like to be on a beach somewhere some toes yeah. in the water ass in the sand kind of thing yeah yeah, yeah. and in between those two things we're gonna do a vipassana meditation we're going back to meditate yeah. it's funny i your tagline is kind of funny to me make money while you meditate well if you don't meditate then what do you do <laughs> make, well, med here's a good topic meditation doesn't have to be sitting in an ashram no, or, right meditation right. can be sipping your coffee meditation means you are in alignment you're in the present moment you can right be, yeah. yeah so yeah, that's you know good. it's yeah. that's debunking the word of meditation of sitting with your legs crossed Cross, yeah. in a center somewhere it's that's not it it's I can meditate while I'm doing the dishes I can met and that's yeah. the goal of life for me is just to feel meditative and calm and in the moment and aligned and aligned so what does alignment mean to me it means being in the present moment and feeling good that's it so how do you do that these people watching being like, how the heck do you do that? Uh, the breath. The breath is our anchor. Go back to the breath. You don't need to know crazy. Joanne can teach you how to meditate. Um, but right now, you guys all have your breath if you're watching this. And that's what you do. You go back to the breath. And look for something to appreciate. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm Steph. I help health coaches <laughs> go from burnout to success with the same four-step process I used to quit my day job. <laughs> who, are they, who the I heck know, are you? Oh <laughs> uh, uh, meditation matters. Meditate because your mind matters and you matter. <laughs> so go feel good. Have fun. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. Have a great day. Bye, 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 bye. Got to turn off all our cameras. <laughs> One. Two. Three.